The water's cooling down, so it holds a lot more oxygen. More oxygen means the fish are a lot more active. Active fish need more food, but there's not a lot of hatches going on, so what are you gonna use? Hi, I'm Mickey Anderson for Fish Tech with this week's Fall Fishing Report. Now you know about terrestrials. Terrestrials always work, and the tractors work really well this time of year, both the dries and the nymphs, and it's a perfect time to get started with streamers. But there's a couple things that are overlooked that work year-round, and especially well right now, and that's sow bugs and worms. Sow bugs are in almost all of our waters, and they're crawlers and clingers. So they're tumbling down the water, and you want to fish those on a dead drift. Same with worms. Worms are in most of our tail waters, and they move when there's a fluctuation in the water. Now, the way you're going to fish these is under a strike indicator, or Euronymphy, which is my favorite, or under a big dry fly like this and just get it to float with the current. There's a couple more forgotten things that you might think about while you're fishing in the fall, and that's leeches and crayfish. Hey, the fall is so much fun. And for these fall fishing tips and a whole lot more, come on down to Fish Tech and we'll help you out. Now for tonight's fishing line.